right, I did a video recently about uh, Monty Brown coming back, and this is this is it goes in conjunction with the last one I did, uh, the, or the other one I did, because I've got two uh, doing these back to back now uh, with Chris Harris. Okay, so we start off. Abyss has come out for whatever reason. Um, he's uh, had a match or something, and he's won. He's yeah, that's what I want. And wham, Monty Brown comes in, pounces him, and he, then he does the pounce. Ah, <laughs> uh, you get my point. And he then he then he's got he runs away or whatever. And uh, Mike Tanay's like, wow, Monty Brown is back. The alpha male is here in TNA. Alright, um, go from there. Monty does a promo. Does a promo where he's like, I can't believe I'm back here. What am I doing here? This is the only place I could come. I should be in the top class with WWE or whatever. He's trying to heal up, basically. So the next week, he and Hogan uh, comes out and says, Alright, you're here. Now put up with it. You're gonna be. It's gonna be you, teaming with AJ Styles, against Abyss and me. Now I know a lot of people are saying, "Why would you do this? Why in the heck would you do this?" Uh, there's a reason for it. One is um, Hogan's a big name. Okay, so you book him, you get a, a lot of fan press about this. You. you you f tend to forget how bad he is in the ring. Well, but look, uh, Hogan was never that great in the ring. Anyway, you go from there, except in Japan. Uh, you go from there. Ho uh, Brown, oh, Molly Brown and AJ Styles win uh, due to the fault of Hulk Hogan. Hogan does something wrong, well, and <coughs> this is when you go uh, to Abyss, who's like, oh, I can't believe I lost, oh, I can't stand this, and, wham, Abyss choke, slams, um, Hogan, takes that ridiculous ring off, throws it down at him, and Hogan's like, what, oh, Okay, um, go from here. Uh, Monty Brown ends up winning the gold of the title from Rob Terry. Now, uh, Rob Terry, uh, I think has been getting a little bit too much bad pr uh, bad press. Uh, look, his matches are short. Uh, he's got a great, uh, great physique. And in wrestling, that's a big deal. Uh, Grandy has got what well, hasn't got much personality, but you get, you get it. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, but uh, despite being shaked lane, Hogan wants to forgive and forget with Abyss because he, he re for whatever reason he really likes Abyss because he's he's obviously given him that ring and uh, this, uh, you, you can use that. Uh, and say, look, I gave you this ring and it's very important to me. So, you can use that as a reason. But, uh, Biss doesn't want to forgive him and he beats the crap out of him. <laughs> uh, and busts him open. Now, that, I feel, is very important. Uh, when someone bleeds in wrestling, it is very important. It usually puts another layer on the feud because um, it's, a, it's a visual so it's very important that's very important uh, 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 Monty Brown has a rematch with Rob Terry and beats, beats him again now uh, Abyss comes out and challenges Hogan to a match at the, at the next pay-per-view 
Now, whatever pay per view that is, the time, whatever, uh, it doesn't uh, the title of the pay per view does not matter at this, this juncture. Uh, so, because this could be any any time, any time it could be Slam anniversary, it could be uh, probably not Bound for Glory because uh, this should be a lead up to Bound for Glory because um, we'll see why. Uh, so instead of um, Hogan, Hogan says, "All right, you want a match? You got Jeff Jarrett now." Jeff Jarrett, uh, despite all outward appearances, is probably a, a is probably a good choice for this feud because Jarrett's been there from the beginning. He's been in TNA from the beginning, and um, I think it's a good a good a good match. So I don't care what anyone thinks about that. Uh, but that same night after that that abyss comes out oh, well no maybe not uh, abyss himself uh, sorry a bit uh, abyss is um music hits his original music not this may uh, may i'm he's born and raising it that hogan music it's his real music and out comes abyss with james mitchell now I think uh, James Mitchell is probably the best manager, whatever you want to call him, in a long time. Uh, he he's great at getting these. He's as good as um, Paul Bearer in a respect. He's like he's like uh, a different but uh, different than Paul Bearer, but um, good at getting these dark characters over. Now. This is a six-man match comes up. Abyss teams with AJ Styles and Monty Brown. Now, Monty Brown and uh, Abyss, for whatever reason, bury the hatchet and go against Jarrett, the Pope, and Rob Terry. Now, Rob Terry uh, gets used, would get used very little in this match, maybe for a few minutes, Beating up uh, Abyss a little bit and maybe a bit beating up Monty Brown, but mainly the carry in this match is AJ Brown, Jarrett, and the Pope. Uh, and maybe a little bit of Abyss. Uh, Abyss is pretty good. Uh, Abyss, for whatever, uh, ends up beating Jeff Jarrett at the the pay per view. And then you go to Brown taking on Rob Terry in a last chance match. Now, that means this is his last opportunity at the uh, title. This is at a pay-per-view, so you can book that. This is Rob Terry's last chance to get back his global title. Okay, um, after this, uh, the next impact, Mitchell uh, comes out and says, Abyss wants you. He's beaten Jarrett. Now he wants you. And he's uh, Hogan says no. I'm retired. I, I'm not wrestling anymore. Uh, he p puts him in a match, uh, in a match with Jared that same night. One more time. Okay. Uh, but that leads to a, another tag team match. Jared teams up with the Pope to take on Abyss and Monty Brown. Um, now. I don't know know who would win this match, but I, I'm guessing you'd go with uh, uh, Pope and Jarrett because they've been losing they've been losing a lot uh, uh, a lot lately, so losing a lot in this feud. So maybe they get the, they get this one. Okay, and the next thing is this will be the last thing. Uh, Brown ends up taking on Chris Harris, who's coming back, and you can watch the other video for that. Uh, what leads to this? Uh, what leads to this? This is obviously after the cage match I talked about in the other one. Uh, Mon Monty ends up wrestling Chris Harris. This leads to a feud between those two. Anyway, that's how I'd book Abyss's heel's turn and Monty Brown's return. Okay, thank you.